Do we get a jam? Do we get hands on him? No. Threw a no-hitter. Nolan Ryan. You can't afford to let... Well, right on cue. He keeps the play alive. A little double chatter move. We thought coming in that they would try to go after Kelvin Joseph. Kelvin Joseph, the corner in Dallas. This is a matchup that we want to see tonight. Metcalf against Ward, who came over from Kansas City, has his head turned right away. If you're going to go static on the line of scrimmage, I got to get hands on this guy, on Waddle, before. What an unbelievable catch. They call this an inside fade. We saw it earlier. Christian Kirk caught it. One-on-one -on -one matchups, and he does here by a lot. That's a tall task for Taylor Britt all day. Going one -on -one. They want to go great route here by Marvin Jones. He goes inside, kind of throws him by with that outside. Is able to create separation. This is really a nice job by him. He's going to have to go against Chase one-on-one. -on -one. And when Chase is one-on-one, -on -one, he wins always. To the outside. And then break it right across his face. Just perfectly done. Nobody's been able to cover him. At the 19-yard line, and another Pittsburgh first down. Boy, is Deontay Johnson having himself a game? Well, the quarterback was in the pocket. Legal contact on the defense. And he is up tight. This is a tough route against a talented physical corner to try to be able to execute. The ability to be creative, giving your receiver the option. Outside whip route, fake back in, go oh. back. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Help because of the time that Mac Jones has. Trey Plant Thornton. Every time you get down on the red zone, Marlon Humphrey loves to be up there and press, get physical. Well, that's a great matchup. They got Christian Kirk in the slot. Anthony Barr, the middle linebacker, he's walked out over the inside receiver. On a gain of 27. And this is just a well-executed play. Good coverage. A great catch. Eight to ten yards. It looks exactly the same. You push up field. You make... Gilmore believe that you are running a go route. You turn him around. And how he just casually puts his hands up right over the helmet. For 27. You got the inside receiver going off to the post, and nobody can get to the outside there. Great call. Duggar's on the inside, and he's just going to beeline it. Look at the speed. Wow. You see Hopkins here on the outside, and Sertan in the coverage there, watching him go to the inside, breaks back to the out. They matched up one-on-one -on -one outside all afternoon in the trail position. How many times have we seen that? I think that's number three. And then look at the job on the sideline. Jaquan on the internet on, as clinic tape <laughs> because he's going to make a lot of money. This is actually really nice coverage by Trey Herndon. C.D. Lamb just sees the ball. It's a little under. Here's Devontae Adams running the route, and you notice everyone has to respect his speed. Marcus Jones. Well, here's a look at it with Jalen Ramsey locked up on Watson. He's trying to sell it as though it's a run, and they just kept. Again, you just you do everything right. There's Devontae Smith working the curl. Then he sees his quarterback in trouble, makes the adjustment. That's an incredible play on both ends. Justin Herbert with a pit and those are the throws those off target throws that where you're not on platform where you're having to move and you throw it to somebody guard chase one-on-one -on -one sometimes and he does here and this is why this team Kyler Gordon is in pretty good position six versus six they don't get the little rub right there but look at the position of that throw another guy to the party by motioning Anybody inside, Josh held him. Well, Tua got away with one. Here comes the quick little out route by Hill. Knowing exactly where the ball is, and watch how he breaks on this ball. Under route. He's seen it time and time again. After It's going to be a little stop route up top. But he's got to navigate these dropping defensive back. You've had a Hall of Fame career. I don't know if he was sure how to answer that. Yeah, he hesitated, but then he thought about it. He said, you know, I've been doing it at a high level for a long time, just like this play right here. He's sitting back, knowing that he has help over the top, so he's going to be aggressive at the point of attack. That's just a great play. He's going to run inside. It's the eyes right here that make the defender think he's going to run across the field. He finds who else? George Kittle, who knows how to make people miss, and is let alone... When you bust in coverage like this, he's going to find a way to get that. 
and they just use that little inside slot fade route, getting a natural pick. Both defenders having to. Well, they went with that four by one set. They run digs all the way across the field. It's man to man. I mean, having to cover a guy 53 and a third yards across the field, the entire width of the field. They're just playing a soft cover three. And Gabe Davis works his way inside. He's rushed forward. Almost a deep curl. He slams on the brakes and then finds the window. Diggs is going to get inside leverage and continue inside and find that window. Wow, what an excellent catch. <laughs> he got the back tip of the football. And you'll see him trying to make a move on Okariki and just gets They had to rely on Ryan Neal, who's been a journeyman, but man, he is taking advantage of this opportunity to become a full-time starter. Again, the ward against Metcalf, two very physical players. We know about Metcalf has really grown as a receiver. That's a win, and especially with this cushion. And look at this move. Boom, <laughs> top of the route. This is outstanding because he's all by himself. Looks like A.J. Brown got on top of him. Look at the height difference, and I know Fortson, and I, I think Patrick's going to be mad at himself for not putting it up a little bit higher. Put him at the 47. Well, Andy Reid was very complimentary of Juju Smith-Schuster, his route running ability, understanding spacing. Been a hawk today. Yeah, and just understanding leverage, right? Drive him, force him back to your help right here with Hawkins. And there it is. Breaking on the football, dislodging that ball over the middle. Wonderful throw. But even better play on the defensive side by Hawkins. Yeah, that's what you want to do. White bracket, Chris Olave. There you see Terrell on the outside. And here's Grant. Well, few, if any, in the league get more production working out of the slot. And he just runs away from plays in a row. Noah Brown does a great job going down, getting under the ball. Well, you're going to see Sertan on the outside here. And he's going to be covering the flat route but then he sloughs off because he can see the eyes nice job Holland softening up the defense Marcus Jones is going to allow that it is Johnson again yes. for the score working a little one-on-one -on -one right here it's going to be a zone but he's just getting jammed at the line of scrimmage and then finding that soft spot and cutting it become the big play threat and he really has him watch him at the top of this route fake to the outside right he's going to fake the corner just get the DB turned around. That's Grant. And then he's just got so much speed. I mean, very aggressive play call. It, you know, let's get a big splash play right here. Just a little in route. Playing the zone coverage comes into the middle. I like the play call. Bad eye discipline uh, out there. This is a deep third coverage. And James Pierre, for whatever reason, continues. Touchdown pass to take the lead over the Chiefs. Here they are right in the middle. To where it turns into essentially man-to-man -man coverage. I think it was quarters coverage, but Jeff Akuda running to the Under outside never. And Judy, nice job hauling this one in. Nice flat route breaking to the sideline. We talked about this earlier. We know that both of these teams are trying to go with the quick this ball off. But Amik Robinson, what a play! He times it up just like the wide receiver would. Nelson Aguilar goes up. So there's eight in coverage. We see Dak Prescott throw into a lot of these tight windows. And everything is there for Jared Goff. This ball is just a little bit short because Jamison Williams is running away from DJ Reed. Standing job at the top of the route. Watch. Whoop, whoop. And Taylor Britt gets caught peeking into the backfield at Britt. And this is a perfect. Like, go up and tip the ball. And I've been waiting to see Logan Ryan, Winfield, Davis all on the field together. A big moment fourth down are the charges going to go for it and we talk to their head coach they're going so windy just continuing to battle all day and, and just great with his hands watch this as he comes up aj brown's got strong hands jalen johnson getting his left hand in there to separate it. oh this was a prayer and secure knee oh that looks like a catch to me now you see one of the you see the uh, the back judge there. He throws his helmet off.